أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم As Muslims we consider Islam as a faith and a way of life Islam is a spring of our moral guidelines it is our fountain of serenity a source of our spiritual enlightenment and Islam offers for us ethical guidance that fills our lives with tranquility and that motivates us to compassion. Yet, in the minds of many in the world, perhaps due to deliberate misrepresentation by the media and some quarters, Islam has been associated with what can be described as a tremendous amount of negativity, intolerance, persecution, and violence. This Despite the fact that we say kal muslimin nu'minu bi deen as-salam wa deen al-islam wa na'budu ar-rahman wa nattabi' rahmatan lil 'alamin we are of those who believe in the deen of islam of submission the deen of peace we worship the lord of mercy and we follow the prophet who came as a mercy unto the universe we subscribe to that deen of peace subscribe to that deen and worship that lord of compassion and we find therefore everything from the revealer to the messenger and the message a manifestation of compassion and of mercy a dimension of that mercy was clearly manifested through a watershed moment in the life of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam at the fath makka the conquest of makka a major incident in the history of islam a turning point in the history of humankind that occurred around this day 20th 21st of ramadan in the 8th year of hijra and to contextualize the event we acknowledge the fact that prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as we know was ostracized by his own people for his faith by the very people who had called him as sadiq and al amin they called him the truthful and the trustworthy he is detractors and opponents persecuted him and his family he was persecuted ostracized victimized threatened with death he eluded a planned assassination attempt on his life and eventually had to leave his hometown of makkah and settle in medina and even when he and the faithful were in medina wars were waged against them against him and his followers so when the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam returned 8 years later to that very same makkah the hometown where he was born where he received revelation he returned with he returned with an army of 12000 believers he freely forgave all his enemies who had persecuted him this incident serves as a benevolent example of a sublime character of khuluqun azim at its peak and it was in reference to this scene and this incident and this event in the rasul's life this historic compassionate example that a british historian not a muslim a british historian and archaeologist by the name of stanley lane pool says about that event which i'm referring to on this day that occurred in the 8th year of hijra and i quote the day of muhammad's greatest triumph over his enemies was also the day of the greatest victory over himself he freely forgave the quraysh all the years of sorrow and cruel scorn which they had afflicted him and he gave amnesty to the population of bakka the muslim army followed his example entered quietly and peacefully and some say no tree was cut down no water was polluted no aged one was humiliated no house was robbed no woman was insulted It was thus that Muhammad entered again his native city of Makkah through all the annals of conquest there's no triumphant entry comparable to this one and quote you see this major incident in the life of the prophet set a standard of unequaled compassion they scorned him they humiliated his people they waged war against him they confiscated their property they boycotted them they killed some of them yet at that moment when he had the power to wipe them out and to crush them they were at his mercy 
He set a standard of unequal compassion, unparalleled. He established an unparalleled legacy of human being in power at his best. You see, it served as a magnanimous example of the magnificence of his charisma and his leadership. Uswatun Hasana, indeed. It reflected the depth of emotional wisdom and the pinnacle of spiritual strength to be able to overcome your anger, your hatred, your victimization, and still say, I forgive you. This is our leader, a leader of compassion, not of terror, who brought the teaching of peace, not of war, a religion of principle, not of oppression. He is our leader, patient in struggle, benevolent in character, and compassionate even in victory. Sheikh Saadi Shirazi therefore so beautifully, بلغ العلا بكماله كشف الدجا بجماله حسنت جميع خصاله صلوا عليه وآله That Prophet, who reached the highest peak by the sublimeness of his character, he removed darkness by his beauty and beautiful ways. Excellent are all his achievements and all his characteristics. Sallu alayhi wa alihi. Salutation upon him and his family. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. With your zakat and contributions, Islamic City will continue its mission to cultivate peace, inspire action, explore positive solutions, and encourage purposeful living through the universal teachings of Islam. Please, donate now.